How's it going everyone? I hope you're having a great week. Unfortunately, all we have to talk about today is a mountain of terrible Friday the 13th news that was dropped on our doorstep like a box of Halloween Resurrection DVDs. For a quick recap here, the last time we talked about Friday the 13th, the franchise was split down the middle between Victor Miller and Sean Cunningham due to the outcome of a lawsuit. Sean Cunningham did submit an appeal to that lawsuit, but he actually withdrew it and everyone thought they were going to sit down and settle. Larry Zerner, who's a Friday the 13th actor turned entertainment lawyer, broke this all down on Twitter in a really understandable way. You really should follow him if you're interested in this stuff at all. And he said that there was pretty much a 50-50 chance that they would settle. We didn't really hear anything about it since then. And then unfortunately, we just heard that Sean Cunningham resubmitted his appeal. Even though he's already lost this lawsuit once, he's basically going back and arguing that since Victor Miller was a writer for hire when he wrote Friday the 13th, he doesn't own any of the rights to the script he came up with. And on top of that, he doesn't think that Victor Miller deserves any of the royalties that Sean Cunningham has reaped over the past few decades, which seems kind of shitty to me. Breaking it down even further, there are some pretty far sweeping ramifications that could come out of this appeal if Sean Cunningham does win, because he's arguing that if I write a script, right? Like I go and I write my own movie script and I sell it to a company who then turns it into a movie, I forfeit all of my rights to that script and I become an employee of that company and they are just entitled to whatever royalties they make on it from that point forward, which honestly, again, sounds like a massive load of bullshit to me. To be fair to Sean Cunningham, I definitely agree with the argument that Victor Miller didn't exactly come up with the most iconic piece of the Friday the 13th franchise, which is Jason Voorhees as we know him. But with that being said, Victor Miller came up with Jason's backstory, he came up with Pamela Voorhees, he came up with Camp Crystal Lake, and all of those are prominent features in the entire Friday the 13th franchise, pretty much from start to finish. So I kind of see where Victor Miller's coming from. And this is where things get really drawn out and really bad. Zerner says that Miller has about 30 days to resubmit his statement, and then after that, we have to wait 21 days for Sean Cunningham to counter. And then we have to wait until January of 2020 for them to make oral arguments. So it looks like things won't be settled until May of 2020, which is almost a year away. And that sucks. At the beginning of all this, it was really easy to point the finger at Victor Miller and say, hey, you're just trying to get rich quick off this lawsuit. We all know what you're doing. But if you really dig into what Cunningham is saying, he basically is trying to make it so that he can legally say, I'm going to hire you to write a script. I'm going to pay you five grand and then turn around and make $500 million off of it. And you're not gonna see any of that because you were an independent contractor. And I just don't think that's right. And on top of that, he included an entire paragraph in his appeal that says, if this lawsuit goes through and Victor Miller wins, then everyone from the cameraman all the way down to the boom op is gonna be able to claim royalties and no one will make any money, which is like third grade level fear mongering. Everyone knows that's not gonna happen. Before I wrap this up, let's just take stock of how hard the Friday the 13th fan base is getting dicked because a rich guy doesn't want to give royalties to someone who created the beating heart of his franchise that made him a millionaire. First up, we're not going to see any Friday the 13th movies during one of, if not the biggest renaissance the horror genre has ever had, where it's making more money than it ever has before. I mean, just think about if on the heels of Halloween, making $250 million at the box office, we got a new Friday the 13th that made a ton of money as well. That would get so many other slashers greenlit. We'd see reboots of stuff like Scream. We'd see new original stuff. The slasher genre needs more movies and this is a really good way to do it but that's just not gonna happen now and of course if this lawsuit wasn't happening we'd be getting more content for Friday the 13th the game now there is something to be said about gun media going out and publishing other games instead of Friday the 13th like we just got layers of fear from them but still I would really like to see all of the content we saw right before this lawsuit happened like the Grendel map and uber Jason which were in the game and then were taken out because of the lawsuit that just sucks we know it's there but we can't play it fortunately there is a silver lining here and that's that fans are picking up the torch of the Friday the 13th franchise and running with it making stuff like Never Hike Alone which is as good if not better than a lot of the Friday the 13th sequel. I mean just last week my friends Riley and Nick over at Slash and Cast announced their own Friday the 13th fan film called The Fall of Camp Blood and the teaser they put out is phenomenal. It just is dripping with atmosphere. I absolutely love it. I'm just going to show you guys. Check this out.
On top of those two examples, I get emails and Facebook messages from people making their own Friday fan films all the time. And honestly, a lot of them look really good. So if you wanna see videos on those like reviews or trailer breakdowns, let me know in the comments below. And also let me know if you wanna see some longer reviews on the Friday the 13th franchise, like the Halloween ones I did last year, because those were a lot of fun and I'd like to get back into that. Anyway guys, that's all I have for you on this legal update on Friday the 13th. Make sure when you subscribe, you hit the notification bell so you get an email every time I upload a video. As always, my name is Jimmy Champagne and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.